Namaste, good morning. Namaste, Shamla Didi. Namaste, everyone. Welcome to the morning session. Ji, namaste, Sunil Ji. Sabhi ko namaste. Good morning and welcome. So we can start our sharings. Ji, Didi, we have two sharings today. One by Isat Mira Didi and another by Srija Didi. We start with uh, Isat Didi's sharing. Uh, Israt Didi, Dr. Israt Mira Mirsana. She is a professor in uh, Mufakham Jha College of Engineering and Technology. Uh, that is in Hyderabad. She completed her introductory FDP in March 2022. And then she started volunteering activities from May 2022. She is very active uh, in the registration PPI uh, of the online FTPs and coordination and moderation of this RC meetings, translation into Telugu, etc. And she has been participating in this morning session very actively, asking so many questions. She participated in the volunteers meet also at Pune. With this brief introduction, let me welcome Isra Didi for giving her sharing in this morning session. Isra Didi, over to you. Please confine your sharing within 20 minutes and uh, following these indicators. Okay, yeah. Bhaiya. Thank you, Bhaiya. Namaste, Sabhiko. Namaste, Sharmila Didi. Um, let me start with my brief introduction. Uh, as uh, Bhaiya has already given my technical background, but uh, let me introduce about my family. I have a husband and uh, two kids. Along with it, my extended family consists of my two sisters. And uh, along with it, as I said, my extended family, uh, it's with my family that I have been working with since 23 years. That is the, my workplace colleagues. They are a part of my family. And for more than I passed one year, I have a new family that is my UHV family. Because UHV family has made me realize what I am and how I can be. So in every step, wherever we fall, they are there to support us. So that is the reason I say it's my extended family. Because sometimes we only say about a family which is with the blood relations, but it's beyond that. As we say, it is realizing it's a relationship of self with the other self. This is what I can say about my brief introduction. Coming to the uh, shift with respect to the understanding about human being with self. What I have realized is self and body are different. And uh, this process of evolution is still going on. Because uh, realizing a self and maintaining an harmony within self is what is giving me the happiness. This, if from happiness, we are reaching to the state of bliss. This is what I have realized. But maintaining that harmony uh, while we are uh, going through from B1 block to B2 block, uh, there's a particular variations that I come across because uh, as I said, I'm able to maintain the harmony with self. But when this there's any disharmony within self, it directly impacts my physical body. So this... Uh, taking care of the physical body and uh, with the self. I'm still in the emerging state. I can say that because uh, whenever there's a disharmony, I can clearly make out the indication how it is impacting my uh, health. So because uh, this maintaining the harmony within self is more important and uh, the different levels, I, will, I was able to analyze them. So that's the reason I am able to uh, distinguish between the sensation and the variation between the sensation, the distance between the sensation and self. Uh, all this have been, um, uh, the understanding is emerging, I can say that. Coming to the nature, shift of the nature, it's uh, it's not just about the nature, but maintaining the four orders, harmony within the four orders is what is is my understanding about nature. Uh, 
So we have to maintain the harmony within physical order, bio order, animal order, and thereby we can have the human order. So in this process, when we are talking about nature, usually we think like I'm uh, born and brought up in a, a surroundings of only the jungle of buildings. So for me, in nature is like if I do a plantation drive or if I encourage somebody with the plantation drive, I'm contributing something to the nature. No, this is what I've realized because uh, I've seen people who really work with the uh, nature. That is, they work with the animal order, bio order, and the efforts that they put in across is tremendous. This is what I have been realizing. And this is what I make my kids understand. Because if I am able to, it is like a firm measure for my understanding is, if I'm able to convince and make them, it rather than convincing, I'll say, I'll propose that. See how a farmer is working too hard to bring about uh, the every seed that we are eating and enjoying and how the people are working in harmony with the nature. If I'm able to convey that, even that I feel like we are contributing something to the nature because we are the ones who have to work in harmony with nature as uh, we are the ones as mechanical, as Bhaya has already said, as mechanical engineer, my production technology should be in harmony with nature, not against the laws of nature. So this, whatever uh, I'm saying, the material consumption, production, all this should work in tune with it. So this is what I have been uh, trying to understand and execute. Coming to the existence, it's the existence with mutual relationship. This, uh, the when I attended my first FDP, in the first tutorial session, I said like, I want my students to be happy. The answer, the, uh, fortunately for the session, Sharmila Didi was the resource person. And the answer that I got was by, when you are talking about harmony of the students, it's not about the students. It should be harmony within yourself. And this is the one which I understand and realized. And this is how I started working with it. And this changeover within myself brought, like uh, before students used to have a hesitation to come to my room. But now, because there's a change in within myself, the people come across, discuss things with me. I'm into, I won't say it's like counseling, but for my self-exploration, for my uh, harmony, I help them if they come up with some uh, issues or they have some uh, disharmony within themselves. And this has helped me realize the importance of it. I understood because in an year, I never realized like how I have, journey through it but recently when one of the student when they have passed out uh, like he had some issues and his family too was facing an issue so I could uh, help them with my understanding uh, right understanding and when he passed it's the blessing that I felt because uh, it's not because he passed but because his grandmother who was 90 years plus has come down to the college to meet me. That felt me, uh, I can not express in words how happy I felt it. Because as a teacher, that is the biggest blessings. So it's not about just giving the technical knowledge, but understanding the person, understanding the self, working in harmony. This, all these things is what I have understood through the sessions. And when it comes to the human conduct, we have to move from the higher order to the lower order. And uh, during this process, uh, I'm st as I said, like I'm still emerging. I'm still realizing the things, how I have to work from B1 block to B2 block, uh, contemplating uh, from higher activities of self and then moving downwards from this highest activity. 
that is usually we start with the selecting, tasting and all that. But it's more about clarity of coexistence, submergence, and then understand and have a guided sensation and thereby can provide a harmony within this. All these things, the, when I started with the UHV 3, uh, I have done UHV 2 and morning sessions, exercise 1 and 2, I understood. I thought, okay, I have done a good exploration. No. This, when I started with UHV 3, there's much more emerging thing. And uh, understanding that and getting into my lifestyle is still taking time for me. So that's the reason I'm, I can say that there's a long way for me to go. I'm just at the beginning. I'm making smaller steps in understanding this. But yes, I'm able to understand it. And uh, coming to my sharing with respect to the emerging out of exercise one and two in brief, uh, let me tell what exercise one is all about. So when we started with the exercise one, it is about observing self by the self. And this is a continuous process. And we are able from our imagination uh, to talk about this imagination, when I started with the initial weekly meetings, uh, moderation, my way of uh, handling the moderation was very not so good. And uh, I got uh, initial uh, suggestions from Sunil Bhaya. Then uh, he said, like, uh, how to improve myself. So with that uh, discipline, the way he uh, told, I had a different altogether imagination of the person. But when I met him in person, it was something different. So that is where, as I said, at that moment, uh, it's like we usually come up with whenever we talk with a person and something, we come up with imagination. So this is how uh, my variation from imagination to the feeling of naturally accepted has emerged. I started understanding the people with a feeling of relationship so that I can be in coexistence. I can understand them. It's not about understanding, it's about right understanding. And I started uh, taking decisions, not with the feeling of sensation, but with the feeling of self, what exactly is that? So feeling of relationship, coexistence, all this slowly started emerging within me, uh, especially after my visit for the volunteers meet, I was able to understand this relationship. And when I wanted to do the morning sessions, first uh, hesitation within me was, will I be able to uh, manage things? And I did not want to do this morning sessions because morning time, I feel like it's very hectic time. I am the only one who will be working at home and I could not manage. But when Tara Prasanna Bhaya suggested, like, no, Didi, you give it a try. And when I started doing it, it, it becomes things very simple. And it's not about attending sessions. It's about how we have the clarity of thoughts. And with this clarity of thoughts, we'll be able to have better time management. This is what I have realized it. And uh, this is how we'll be emerging. And that's the reason like I want my co-explorers to continue the journey of morning sessions. It initially we think that uh, it is not possible. That's the reason when we were starting with the seventh batch of morning session, when the calling assignment was given to me, I felt very happy because my personal experience is the one with what I can say the others with a feeling of relationship, how they can be, that can help them attending morning sessions to them. So this is how I can say that I started observing the self by the self. Coming to the exercise two, I started uh, realizing the difference between the self and the body. And through the imagination, usually we go with our imagination and thereby we try to make conclusions. 
but that is the one which will be impacting our body. The sensation from uh, are read from the body itself, but the decisions are being passed by the body. So if I don't realize the difference between the two, and if I don't respect each one of them, it's not that it's only about the self I have to work on, but it's also with the body and how the interaction is taking place. And usually for my harmony, because uh, during this four months period, I will not say four months, it's a continuous uh, journey. Mm -hmm. During this period, I have realized that uh, when whenever there's a disharmony, like for myself, I have started like, yes, I feel happy. I'll do my UHV too, along with my administrative work. But while doing it, I did never realized how my body will be reacting. Because there's a difference, there's a uh, distance between myself and the body. The sensations, whatever it can take, I have extended beyond that. Due to which I had to face some problems, health issues. So I have to uh, vary, I have to understand. Because uh, I was assuming the things like, yes, I'm at harmony. Because of that, I'll do these things, that thing all this mm. but it's ultimately the right understanding i'm still lacking because when i have a synchronous between my right understanding and uh, the relationship all these things then only i can emerge with it so with respect to it i have to work a lot and this is what i'm right now doing it i don't think i've uh, evolved this is as I said, I'm just uh, learning things. And in this exploration, I'm with my uh, all my co-explorers because at every stage I've realized they are there to support me. So this is about my experience with respect to the UHV, uh, sorry, exercise two. Coming to the next part, uh, that is uh, the sharing, the change in my living and with the understanding. So during this four months, it's like I've understood a lot. And because of this, though my journey, though there were family disturbances, like uh, in my family, I've seen my um, brother-in-law suffering with uh, cancer, then my colleague suffering with uh, uh, leukemia, bone cancer. During this journey, because I was able to maintain that harmony, I could help my family as well as my colleague to overcome the hindra, uh, their health issues. Because of which my colleague almost, though he is uh, going through a lot of trauma, he calls and discusses. I feel happy that, yes, I am there for somebody. I am able to help them out in uh, their sharing because it's a journey wherein... Uh, like they have to face a lot and I understood what is the importance of mutual relationship. The mutual relationship is the one which will be helping if we are helping each other for self, for another self, definitely we can overcome the physical, uh, in a, I can say problems or something. So this is what uh, a great uh, journey I have gone through. Because if I would have not done UHV, that harmony, first thing that would have come to my mind is why me or why my family or why my friend. But right now, I don't have that fam uh, query in my mind. I just say that, yes, it is there. But how do I combat that? How can I help others? This is what I have been emerging with respect to the UHV that I have been doing. Coming to the commitment, uh, as I said, I'm just emerging with my right understanding. So it's a continuous process. And I do it continuously because with whatever activity I do, I try to evaluate. And I try to do it in the best way. But as, as a human being, as I do mistakes. But at the end of the day, when I before going to the bed, I just pend on, rather than pend on, I recollect 
what are the activities that I have done and whatever mistakes I have committed, I'll go back the next day to if I have hurted somebody's feeling, I just apology for the same, be it a student, colleague or whatever uh, person can be. It may be a, uh, age is not a uh, uh, or gender, whatever may be the things, they are not a constraint. So I'm in the process of doing this right understanding, coming to the social responsibility, imagine, yes, I'm trying to do the uh, whatever possible I can do it with the UHV activities. Along with it, I also work with the NGOs like IGEN and uh, EWP, wherein we'll be providing the technical support for the underprivileged society uh, coming up with the solutions. So these are the things I'll be trying to do. Coming to the UHV commitment, yes, I'll be able to do the things for um, two hours or more. But as I said, I understood my and constraints. I'm more into whatever support or activity I can do it at the level. Uh, uh, I can do it on online level rather than at the physical level because I have a commitment for my family with the other uh, activities of the society also. So this is the clarity which I was not having, but within few days back, I could realize it because first, whenever any activity used to come, I used to say that, yes, I can do it. But now I realize what I am capable of it, what I am not capable of it. So this is how I'm emerging and I look forward for the support from everyone, especially this journey I would have not gone through much uh, ahead without the support from uh, Sharad Bhaiya. And I could have, as I said, I could get a extended family in terms of uh, Priya Didi, then also Bhageshri Didi, because when I do my PPI activity, it's not about activity. Uh, when we do the scoring, when we get the FAQs and all that, after the session, myself and Bhageshri Didi, we discuss it so that we enjoy doing that. So it's like an uh, ever emerging and uh, it, it's not a task, but I enjoy it. So this is what is my journey of volunteering and I look forward to in whatever best way I can do, I want to do it. Thank you all. Thank you for your patience hearing. Thank you, Sridhidi, for this very nice sharing, exemplified and very sincere sharing, I would say. Uh, the shift is very much evident in your sharing. Um, Namaste, Shridhidi. Very nice to hear your sharing today. Thank you, Didi. In this short span of time, um, I think your um when you started the morning session the kind of questions that you were asking and now i can see some shift there and i i've also seen you in action <laughs> in your participation and i'm amazed at the energy that you bring into the group with your suggestions with your uh, involvement, your commitment. Um, it brings life to the activity, your participation, and that's very valuable. I'm sure that uh, with your participation, you are also inspiring many others. So um, these activities, the, you know, the your involvement in the morning session or in the workshop activities, they will certainly help in the progression for yourself also in your own transformation as you keep exploring. But also your participation, like I, I um, have occasionally heard you in your um, rendering of the running of the RC meeting, taking charge. And um, I must say that you do it in a very organized way. You know, 
having the points, the agenda of the meeting, running the meeting, all of that. I was quite impressed with um, your role there. As also when we met in Pune um, and you came forward. So I can see that, um, you know, you would be very valuable in these kind of activities where coordination is required and um, there are, um, you know, getting together other members and coordinating people together and um, organizing these activities. So I can see that as your participation in a very large way. And when it comes to the internal work, working on our own self-development, there also I can see, you know, with your sharings and whenever we have talked, um, that work is ongoing. Of course, as time progresses, as you get to be able to explore more and more, this um, self-development will um, go you know, at a faster pace. And I can see that that will happen fast because I can see a lot of participation on your side. So, of course, with the next round of exercises, I would want you to you know, be there and um, try to go a little deeper in the exploration. Um, that would be, I think, very useful. And of course, with all the activities that you are doing, um, I think you did not mention the age of your children, but for others, if you can mention the age of your children, I think they are pretty small and you're able to manage all these things uh, that is uh, very commendable. So if you can just mention the ages of your children. Yeah, one is uh, right now they're 10 and 12, baby. Yes, nice. So um, all the very best to you, more power to you, all the best and keep exploring and continue this wonderful thank journey. You. Yeah, thank you, Didi. As I said, this journey, my exploration when we are doing Telugu translation, though it's like I'm not an expert in Telugu, but the subject, because I have a content with the, uh, my understanding, I get a lot of support from Vasanthi Didi Ranganaji and Jagdish Bhaya. I try to correlate and understand. So that's a way, wonderful journey. So as I said, it's like a not doing work, but it's enjoyment I'm getting when I'm doing something. Yeah. Yes, that is yeah. the way to do all activities, in fact. <laughs> that is the right way to do all our activities. Not yeah. like a chore, not like a um, something that we are forced to do, but to be able to enjoy what we are doing. So wonderful. All the very best. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you all my co-explorers for this opportunity. Thank you, Shambhala.